It's that time. Let's talk about batteries. EV battery, LG ES. It's a 218 watt hour, 60 amp power. And it's a range and three P. So three of these cells are in parallel. So this becomes a module with 180 amp hours, right? The cool thing about these is that they're modular. This, this comes right off of right here. You see that? What I've made here is a 7S, 24 volts and 180 amp hours. So it's a four and a half kilowatt hour module right here. And it's really small and it's like 45 pounds or something like that. And it's gonna be really affordable. You know, the cool thing about EV batteries is usually was that they could push a lot of power. So this battery right here would be able to give you 24 volts, 300 amps. I mean, you know, this is a little battery and it could give you 10 kilowatt. What happens is because this is modular, this is a 7S, you get a second module like this, and then now you're a 14S, right? 48 volts, now you can run a full house out of it. And then that's gonna be able to give you like 20 kilowatt, but it's going to be almost like nine kilowatt hours uh, for about a thousand bucks. Really cool. That's why I'm excited about these, right? Of course, they don't have a BMS. This is just raw cells. So you have to put a BMS and all such stuff. Uh, but because they're modular, it's gonna be easy because you have access to all the, you know, the terminals and stuff like that. They do have cooling, right? So these are the cooling uh, fins right here that are their pouch cells, right? So these go on the side and then they come down and they bend right here. So in reality here, you can put a cooling jacket, a cooling a chill plate, it's called, right? So it goes on here, it goes screwed on here, and then that you can run liquid through there and then run them. All right, so if this works, a lot of you guys are gonna find this interesting. Okay, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.